Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I uh, want to take just a minute and show you a real quick process that I use uh, in uh, using Google Sheets uh, to track uh, the time period that we have uh, for uh, some of our students and faculty that have uh, have gotten COVID. Uh, as a result of having COVID, they now have uh, antibody uh, resistance. And so they have uh, that antibody resistance for uh, 90 days. And so whenever we go to do a, a close contact, if uh, we have a student or faculty member that has that close contact, but they have uh, been diagnosed with COVID, uh, we want to make sure that we can track them within that 90 days uh, so that they don't have to quarantine. Uh, so for starters, I'll start with setting up some labels. Um, So my first label will be date of COVID positive. Then the second label will be 90th day of antibody resistance. And then I'm going to just put days remaining. And so that'll give us a uh, uh, some headings that we need. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste in some uh, um, some dates, some dates. So I have those there. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just start writing some formulas. Uh, to, to give us this uh, information. So the first one, uh, anytime we start with a formula, we'll start with equals, equals, click the date on the left hand side, so A2 plus 90. Then I hit enter. And so that will give me 90 days past the initial uh, positive date uh, for COVID. And then uh, Google Sheets gives me this option to autofill, and so I'm just going to hit yes on that. Now, if you come in here and, and you, you copy this formula down a little further and the way you copy that again, you click on the cell, you see this box in the lower right-hand corner, you click there, and you just click and drag. Uh, now, you'll see that, that these uh, numbers, uh, let's just add a few more to it, and so let's say the 17th, um, Let's say, uh, let, let's go back a few days. Uh, so 9, 14, 21, 9, 12, 21. And you'll see that uh, as you add those dates in there, uh, that it, it'll just start calculating that automatically. The next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I track the number of days that they have remaining uh, with the antibody, uh, antibody resistance. Um, and so I'm going to do that by going equals the end date minus today. And that's going to track from the end date to today how many, how many days they have uh, remaining um, on that resistance. Then I'm just going to hit enter. And again, it asked me if I... Um, want to uh, autofill and the answer is yes okay and so you can see down through there that if they uh, you know they tested positive back in uh, May uh, that looks like they're at negative 28 days past that antibiotic uh, that antibody resistance um, and so that's that's something that uh, we can acknowledge and we can say all right, at this point, uh, you've been in a close contact, and so you're going to have to quarantine at this point. I do want to make it even a, a little step further, uh, and so I like to see these things really poke out to me. So I'm going to use some conditional formatting. So I'll go to Format, scroll down to Conditional Formatting. And uh, in, this, in these categories, I want it to show me if it is... Um, Let's use greater than or equal to uh, 10. So if it's greater than or equal to 10 days, I want it to highlight green because I want it to, to, to show, yes, they're, they're good to go. If they're under 10, I'm going to say between 1 
So I'm scrolling down here. And I'm going to say is between 1 and 10. I want it to highlight that in yellow to just give me a warning sign to say, hey, this uh, this student, this faculty member uh, is uh, starting to uh, get at the further end of that. And so I'll have that pop in there. And then last, um, I'm just going to say, is it less than? If it's less than one, I would like for that to be red. And so there I have those rules entered. Um, I can go in and, and say, okay, uh, I know that this student, student number two, uh, was positive on this date. Uh, he, he or she lost their antibiotic, uh, uh, their antibody resistance on, uh, on 819. Uh, so right now they're, they're past that, and so they're going to need to quarantine uh, at this time. You can continue to add things uh, as you go down uh, as this goes along. Uh, let's say you missed a couple of dates. Um, I, I'm just going to use uh, 6, 20, um, 1, 21. And let's see where we are with that. Let's go 6, 27, 21. So that gets us to 9, 6, 28, 21. And that gives us a 10. And so you can see right there at that threshold, uh, the cutoff between 9 and 10, the conditional format between uh, yellow and green, uh, you can see that difference there. Hopefully you found this, uh, this uh, process helpful today. I'm just going to go over these formulas one more time. Again, if I want to go 90 days out, I hit equals the date that they tested positive plus 90. So there's my formula there. Equals the date they tested positive plus 90. The days remaining is equals the day, the 90th day of their antibody resistance minus today. And if you just type the word today, uh, this is going to be a uh, uh, this is going to update every day, and so tomorrow, uh, if you were to come into this this spreadsheet, you would see that uh, negative 28 would say negative 29, and negative 24 would be negative 25, uh, and so on and so forth as you keep going down the list. Uh, and so uh, that's the cool thing about these uh, dynamic spreadsheets and the ability to uh, update on their own. And uh, so hopefully you found this helpful. Thanks.